Hi guys, Dr. Rob Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. Uh, I'd like to talk today uh, about the Atkins diet uh, and why uh, it can be an effective diet. Now, I don't really want to get into the politics or the propaganda surrounding the diet. Um, I'm a nutritional theorist. I'm interested uh, in nutrition. I'm interested in biochemistry. Uh, I'm not interested in the politics really of nutrition. I will leave that for those people who have uh, an interest in it and who have more time on their hands. What I'd like to talk about in particular is how uh, the Atkins diet works, why it's effective, uh, and if there are any alternatives to the Atkins diet that you could consider. Now, uh, the what is the Atkins diet? The Atkins diet is a high fat, high protein diet that eliminates uh, carbohydrates initially. So uh, the idea is to enter ketosis. That is a state where the body uh, shifts its metabolic regulation uh, to burning ketones as a source of fuel. And to be able to enter uh, that uh, biochemical state, you need to eliminate carbohydrates. And that is initially uh, what the diet does. There is then, after a period of ketosis, uh, what's called a maintenance phase where the carbohydrate levels are kept low um, so that um, you're not in a state of ketosis but there is a, a per almost a permanent uh, low carbohydrate intake. Um, is the diet effective? Yes it is. Uh, nutritional literature has assessed the diet. Low carbohydrate diets do cause weight loss um, in particular groups of people, particularly those people who are insulin resistant. Uh, why is the diet effective? Well, the diet is effective uh, because it limits uh, two of the uh, components in the diet that are the cause of weight gain and obesity. The first of those uh, is fructose. Fructose is a simple sugar. Uh, it's become uh, refined and crystallized uh, in our diets. It's added to many foods, particularly um, soft drinks uh, in the form of sugar. Uh, it makes up one of the molecules in a molecule of sugar, the other one being glucose. So fructose has increased uh, in our diets uh, and fructose goes to the liver. If we eat high amounts of it, it overloads the liver with nutrients. Uh, this increases de novo lipogenesis, which is the production of new fatty acids. And these fatty acids are deposited in the liver and skeletal muscle. They cause insulin resistance. And this means that we get blood sugar problems. And these blood sugar problems cause uh, 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 obesity, weight gain uh, and uh, the accumulation of fat. So uh, by eliminating, eliminating carbohydrates, uh, you eliminate fructose because fructose is a carbohydrate. So you eliminate one of the primary causes of obesity. The other thing that you eliminate is refined carbohydrates because refined carbohydrates obviously fall under the category of carbohydrates. By limiting your carbohydrate intake, uh, you actually obviously eliminate also your refined carbohydrate intake. So uh, these two factors um, are, are the primary reason that the Atkins diet uh, is effective. Most people are fat because they eat too much uh, fructose and they have too many refined carbohydrates in their diets. Um, and by eliminating uh, those two components, uh, you, you will reverse uh, the, the metabolic dysfunction that has caused uh, weight gain and obesity. Now, it's worth mentioning that most diets uh, that you can find most diets that you go out and book uh, commercial diets there are books about them or, or well-known diets most diets are effective because they do the same they eliminate sugar or they reduce the intake of sugar and they reduce uh, the intake of refined carbohydrates and the effectiveness of a diet uh, can actually be measured to a certain extent on how how well it restricts those two components obviously the Atkins diet completely restricts them and therefore it's one of the most effective diets uh, in the short term anyway, uh, for losing body fat. Um, so are there any alternatives to the Atkins diet? Well, yes, there is. Um, traditional diets uh, don't contain fructose uh, and they don't contain refined carbohydrates. Uh, and as a result, if we look at the nutritional literature, we look at studies that have been done on traditional diets. Uh, do they cause weight loss uh, in obese people? Yes, they do. Do they cause weight loss in people who are overweight? Yes, they do. And is that weight loss uh, a long-term uh, phenomenon? Yes, it is. Uh, if you follow a traditional diet, such as the Mediterranean diet, uh, and you eliminate uh, fructose uh, in the form mainly of sugar from your diet, 
and you eat mainly whole grains uh, and therefore eliminate refined uh, carbohydrates, uh, you will lose weight. Uh, that's been shown time and time again. Uh, there is no requirement to, to restrict calories. Those people who consume traditional diets uh, and eat ad libitum, in other words, they eat as much as they want, they still lose weight. And those people who eat traditional diets have no requirement to exercise. Without exercise, they still lose weight. Comparisons of groups um, that uh, consume a traditional diet and exercise and those who consume a traditional diet and do no exercise show that there is no difference between the groups and therefore the exercise has no effect whatsoever. Traditional diets are high quality diets. They eliminate fructose. They eliminate refined uh, carbohydrates. Uh, and just like the Atkins diet, any diet that eliminates those two components will cause weight loss. Um, the healthiest diet you can follow is a traditional diet with traditional eating patterns. And therefore, if you want to lose weight, I would suggest you avoid all the gimmicky diets and you look to a high quality diet such as the Mediterranean diet uh, and you follow that in the long term for successful weight loss effects.